Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we started a new event. It's the Power Couples Valentine's Week event. So basically, there's going to be like 10 different couples in the game where when they are played together, they get bonus power, which I think is a super cool, unique thing to do. And I hope they really do these things more in the future. So basically, we have um, 10 different couples. We have Angela and Sarah when they're played together. It's plus one power. Black Panther and Nakia, when played together, they both get plus one power. Uh, Captain America and Agent 13 get plus two power. Gambit and Rogue get plus two power. Invisible Woman and Mr. Fantastic get plus two power. And then Iron Man and Rescue get plus one power. Miles Morales and Ghost Spider get plus one power. She-Hulk and Daredevil get plus two power. Star-Lord and Gamora get plus one. And Vision and Scarlet Witch get plus one. So I kind of looked through all of these and try to figure out which ones can go well together in a deck, how we can add the most in one deck where it'll still have some good synergy. And I landed on a Silver Surfer deck. So we have the Invisible Woman and Mr. Fantastic. And I kind of focused on the plus two power gain because that's a lot better than the plus one power. So Invisible Woman and Mr. Fantastic when played together each get plus two. And Mr. Fantastic gets buffed by Silver Surfer. Um, I also included Rogue and Gambit because Rogue and Gambit, when played together, get plus two power and also get buffed by Silver Surfer. Uh, the Invisible Woman is also really great at hiding the Gambit, so it doesn't discard any of our other cards. And then, uh, so for the most part, it's kind of a standard Silver Surfer deck, except for I added Black Panther, uh, which will synergize with Nakia who also, you know, they give each other only plus one, but that's still good for Black Panther when he doubles. It's kind of like a plus two for him. Uh, unless Nakia hits him, then it's even more. And so it's kind of like all synergistic with Sebastian Shaw, where you want to buff Sebastian Shaw in your hand with Nakia, but now you can also buff Black Panther and play him, which will be, he can be like a 5-12 if he's been buffed by Nakia and Nakia was played. So... I'm thinking this is probably a really good mix of the power couples. We'll see how it does. Um, I played a few games and it just seemed very strong because uh, even if you don't hit your Black Panther, like you still have your standard Silver Surfer lines. You got Killmonger and Rogue for some disruption. The Invisible Woman, you can hide the Killmonger behind and take out one drops later in the game, like your Nova and stuff. So it happens like last. It has a lot of synergy. So I'm going to take it into... Uh, ladder and see how it does. King's Roads. All right, we got Invisible Woman and Gambit. That's a good 2-3 play there. And we got the Black Panther. So far, we got like half of couples. We need their other halves to really make things happen. Uh, so let's just go ahead and Invisible Woman here. Uh, I don't want to play her into Stark Tower because then we're not going to get any Stark Tower buffs. So you'll see when we play the Invisible Woman, Gonna add plus two to our Mr. Fantastic over here. And when we play Mr. Fantastic, it's gonna add plus two to the Invisible Woman, which is super good. Ooh, the Abbey. I think we're gonna ignore that for now. I don't really feel like committing two cards there, and they beat us, so it's fine. Thanos deck. Okay, well, that makes sense. Root is really good. I'm thinking, heck, Brood Middle, honestly. Let's get all that buff, right? It'd be hard for them to compete with that. Why they take out the ninja from there? That's weird. Oh. All Obsidian, all right. We could try to do the Gambit. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm thinking... Maybe we just Black Panther here. And the next turn we can Killmonger Surfer. Oh, please pull something small. Oh, okay. Works for me. And now we get the Nakia, which, as you can see, was buffed by the Black Panther being on board. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking Killmonger and Silver Surfer. It'll destroy all his stones. It's feeling good. I'm not going to snap. I want him to stay in it. 
And he is, in fact, staying in it. That's fine. We can give up that lane. He, like, almost barely gave up that lane, to be honest. And we just be a Thanos Blob deck with our hodgepodge of cards. Victory. And it's not like they didn't hit good lines. That was pretty solid on their end. This sellers? I don't know how to say that. All right, Jeff and Invisible Woman. That's a monster. I think I'll play out the Invisible Woman because we got the Mr. Fantastic. Ooh, they got the Sunspot. White Palace. So they took either Nakia or Mr. Fantastic. I have their Miss Marvel. So Rogue would be good because I know they're going to play that. And yeah, we'll just Invisible Woman here. I could have Invisible Woman mid and just hide some power. Cork, thank you. Love a rock. A coal, I mean. So kind. Subterranea. 10-4. Let's go ahead and do Nakia then to at least buff the cards we have in our hands. Because I can't guarantee we're going to draw any other cards besides rocks at this point. Yeah. I think I'll miss Marvel. Let's try to take priority here. They're also going to miss Marvel. Okay. Dang, am I really only drawing rocks? <laughs> Maybe if I snap, they leave. I'm gonna snap. I kind of don't want them to leave. I want to see the game out, but I'll try to get some rank while we're at it. Or lose some rank, who knows? I don't know what they got. Maybe they haven't drawn a single rock. Um, Silver Surfer, I guess, would be good. Ooh, Mystique. Rogue. Rogue would be best. If I can top deck Rogue. Wakanda forever. He maybe should have held on to that Shadow King, to be honest. Ooh. Rogue. Um, ideally, I want to take the Miss Marvel or Mystique. Let's see what happens. I take Miss Marvel or Mystique, I win. Like, I'm pretty sure. And they retreated. Victory. I bet they regret that Shadow King then, now. Alright. Bingo, babies. Not sure what that means. Sanctum Sanctorum. Love to see that. Um, I'll hold on to the Nova for now. We can always drop them on turn 4 with a 3 cost. But Sanctum Sanctorum is good if we draw Mr. Fantastic and or Jeff. So we can sneak five power in there. Uh, Lemuria. Not the Jeff now. Mm, do I want an Invisible Woman there? I don't think so. I think I want an Invisible Woman. No, we can do Invisible Woman mid. That's fine. Okay, okay. We do this to draw the card. Love card draw. Card draw is... Always good. They're gonna just Black Swan now. It's a Thanos deck. So I'm expecting a lot of things. So Killmonger hiding under here is always good. But actually, maybe I wanna do Gambit first. Yeah, I'll do Gambit first. That way, when I Killmonger, the Gambit will reveal first and still get a buff from the Nova. You gotta think about those things. Ordering, you know? All the one drops. Oh, if he does not have Kyera, that would be. That would be nice. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. I don't want to rip the Killmonger now in case he has Kyera. But like, is that even a smart play? Like, should I just Black Panther here now? And then next turn we can Killmonger Silver Surfer? 
because he has priority. He might... Oh, he's going to probably skip in order to... Because he can't play nothing. I doubt his last card would be Kyera, right? I don't want to snap. I think he retreats if we snap. So I'm just going to Black Panther there. Wakanda forever! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Do this, this, and this. We should win. Unless that's Kyera. Blue Marble, easy game. I wonder what Gambit's going to destroy. Hopefully it's Cull or Black Swan. Or, or the Blue Marble, actually. That's actually really good. Not even close. <laughs> he messed up by not playing Kyera. Maybe he doesn't have Kyera. I don't know. He was using Squirrel Girl. Could have been a low collection level player with Dan who just got Thanos or something. Lu Fang. All right, we got Invisible Woman and Mr. Fantastic. Always good. Crimson Cosmos is rough, so I would love to get Nakia into Black Panther just to kind of hold our own there a little bit. There's another good use for like Black Panther in this deck, I think. Get into Crimson, Crimson Cosmos. Normally your regular Surfer deck can't get there at all. We also got Jeff. Jeff could also get in there, but they can play their five, six, seven, or four, five, six cost cards. So, X Mansion with Invisible Woman. I don't know if I like that, so I'm gonna go here. Collector. Okay, maybe a Loki deck or a Devil Dino like hand fill deck. Ooh, back to the building. Love to see that. We'll go, Mister Fantastic Mid. And then hopefully it gives us something good. I'll take an A-Power Apocalypse. A second Collector? Dang, dude. Um, okay, Nakia is pretty good. Because we got Sebastian Shaw in hand, so we'll go ahead and lock that in. I think Black Panther would be my most ideal top deck right now. Or a two cost to go with these three costs. Morbius. We can hide Rogue. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna snap. And then we'll Sebastian, Shaw, Silver Surfer. I don't know where exactly. Probably in Baxter building. They stuck it in. Hmm. We'll give up Crimson Cosmos, I think. Well, they have six cards in hand. Yeah, I'm pretty confident about this. Um, we'll, we'll send this. We can't really get anything else into Crimson Cosmos, so why leave the Jeff there, you know? Why try to figure that out? Okay, that's good for their collectors. God damn. The collectors are making me a little nervous. I'm no longer nervous. That's fine. We're going to take back the building back easy. And then we're going to buff everything. Look at that. Look at that. Power couples. Victory. I mean, the only power couple on the board was Invisible Woman and Mr. Fantastic, but still, you know? The others would have also been great if we drew them. Um, Black Panther would have won Crimson Cosmos if we drew them. LM66. All right, we got Rogue and Gambit. Can we get Invisible Woman for the Gambit? No? All right. Can we get Invisible Woman for the Mr. Fantastic? Buff. Great portal. What are you going to give us? Agneto? Okay. 
Fashion Shaw, that's rough, drawing all our top end cards. I say top end cards as if our deck isn't just mostly three costs. Savage Land. Okay. So, Wolverine, I'm expecting a destroy list, so maybe Rogue can snipe their Null. That would be pretty cool. That Deadpool or something. Electra. Why is everyone playing Electra right now? Hmm. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna brood here and I'm just gonna Nova mid, I guess. For now. I just brood is great for Mojo World, like adding three cards. Did they skip? That's weird. Okay, so nothing really good going on here. So I guess I'm just going to Nakia. I almost want to snap. I said almost want to snap and then snapped immediately. A um, little risky on turn five when they skip turn four. Just because they might retreat. Nope, they stayed in. Okay, Nimrod Gamer. But, like, we win Mojo World. Like, there's no way he can add cards there if it's just eating, you know? So, I'm thinking Sebastian Shaw Illmonger. Yeah. I doubt they're going to add enough cards here. And if they do, I don't think they're going to win anywhere else. Let's just play it out. Let's see what happens. This uh, Killmonger is doing work, though. The Nova and then the Raptors and Electra on their side getting destroyed. That's an interesting spot for a card to be played. This can't be a bot, though. We're in infinite. And they said no bots in infinite. So. Destroyer. That makes more sense. But not good enough. I don't know Victory. what... Did they think I wasn't going to play mid? Uh, I don't know. No idea. GG. Multas, Multasante? Okay. Altar of Death. Not great. Like, we can move Jeff in there and have Mr. Fantastic kind of reach in there a little bit, but I don't... If this is a destroy deck we're going against, we might be screwed. It's not. Okay. So maybe they can't get in there either. I say either as if we can. Can't, but we can. Vormir is kind of annoying though. I would like to uh, draw something I can just destroy in there. I don't really got anything I can destroy in there. Enchantress for their Zabu isn't awful. Uh, Nakia is good. We have Black Panther in hand. Let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, I'm just going to Enchantress next turn. Or no. Well, Rogue is a 50-50, though. Maybe I just rip the Enchantress and forget Rogue. Mm. Because I want to use my energy wisely, you know? But if I... Play the rogue now. They might be able to Chong Chi me or something. I'm just gonna Enchantress. That's a good destroy for them. Oh, thank God, they gave me something to destroy. Oof. Enchantress. Thank you, Hub, for looking out for me. All right, we'll destroy this and we will drop down the. The Black Panther. Yeah, I like that. And then next turn we can Gambit, Silver Surfer, maybe Killmonger, Silver Surfer. We'll see what they do. I'm going to snap. Maybe they'll retreat. That's fine if they retreat. Maybe they're confident, you know? Maybe they got something else. Maybe it's a, uh, a Ronin version and they got Ronin and they like haha 
I don't know. Wakanda forever. Demon and Rock Slide. Okay. Sebastian Shaw is always good. Uh, Killmonger is honestly super good here. Do I want to commit to any energy on the hub? They're going to lose six power unexpectedly. So they're going to go at, down to two. I'm, at, I'm going up to 12. They need to add 11 there to win. Do you think that they can add 11? Two, four, six, eight. If they have um, Ronin. This is, none, none of this is given Ronin energy, but you never know. I think I'm just going to do this. I think they expect to be a lot more ahead right than they will be and are going to commit hard middle. I don't know. Either way, unless they can get into Altar of Death, which I doubt, we're going to have Tiebreaker win probably. I think Shang-Chi maybe? Oh, Shadow King. <laughs> Oh, he tried so hard. Shadow King would have been good there if I didn't killmonger his demon. And they call Obsidian, nice. Nice, uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Wolfbane, all right. You got the Thanos avatar. Why not use the other one with the yellow border? Nor Dimension, do we care about Nor Dimension? Do I want extra? Energy, or do I care more about board space? Hmm. I think I'll play Jeff, and mm, we got the Invisible Woman, though. I think I'll Invisible Woman here. Let's let's grab a, a Jin and see what we can do. Maybe next turn I can play Jin with something, and then place two cards earlier. I don't know. They're filling their hand with gins. Ooh, Killmonger's going behind the Invisible Woman. Indeed, Killmonger's going behind the Invisible Woman. All right, Atlantis, not bad. Rogue, also not bad. Do I hide Rogue here to take the Ant-Man and then Killmonger behind it? Maybe? Or do we think they're going to play a better card for me to rogue? They might play a better card for me to rogue. Maybe I'll just Nakia now. And Jin. Let's see, that'll put me at six energy next turn. Maybe I can play two cards. I like that. I like that. Let's go. I don't need another Jin, I don't think. A better card for us to rogue. I love this game so much. I think I'm going to rogue it now, to be honest. So, we're going to rogue that. I'm going to hide Gambit under the invisible one. Ooh. Do I hide Gambit or do I Mr. Fantastic? I think I Mr. Fantastic. Next turn, I can hide Gambit and play Jeff. And then hide Killmonger. Maybe I draw Nova. I want Killmonger to be last under the Invisible Woman in case we draw Nova. That way the other cards under Invisible Woman also get the Nova buff. Havoc. Interesting. That might be a little tough to beat, to be honest. Why would you play Jin into Atlantis getting rid of your buff? Oh. A little buff going on there. A lot of buffs going on. Okay, so he's going to lose 9 power here, but he's going to gain 4. So he's only losing 5, which puts him at 8. No, he'll be at 9. He's only losing 8 power. So, wait. He's going to gain 4. So he's only losing 4. He's going to be at 9. Easy. We Oh, we got Silver Surfer, though. Maybe Gambit's not the play. I think it's Hillmonger. Oh, wait. 
It's turn five. I don't know why I thought it was the last turn. Heck yeah, Gambit. Jeff. What can they do? Sandman. Oh, so he's gonna he's gonna have a lot more power. Shoot, okay. So six. Six plus six is twelve. Four, we're at fourteen. We're destroying eight, putting him at nine. He's gonna get another four, putting him at thirteen. We're at fourteen already. So we win if we just do this. However, the Jeff needs to go here and then we win that we win these two locations he can do whatever he wants mid i already snapped let's go Ayera wins we lose dang it unless this hits havoc ah By one point. By one point. That was a good game. Stuffed chimichanga. Okay. If you say so. Um, got a pretty good starting hand here. Invisible woman into, I guess, Sebastian. If I don't draw literally anything I draw, I can play though. So hopefully it's not the Nova. Nakia would be the best option. Mm, I guess Invisible Woman mid is fine. Elsa. Love to see Elsa being played. Elsa needs a bit of a buff, I think. Maybe the Luke Cage treatment. Make her a 3 cost and affect the whole board. Uh, Brood here is probably the best. We'll do that. Angela. Okay. So, Kitty Pride. Bounce, maybe, maybe bounce type deck. I think Nova here is fine too. They're really going hard mid here. Ah, yes. So Jeff can move there. Rogue doesn't do anything right now. Maybe I just drop Black Panther here, and then... Hopefully I draw Killmonger. I think Killmonger would probably be the best top deck. Is that Vision? Vision, okay. Um... All systems go. I don't know if Vision's gonna be enough. Left. Nakia is probably the worst. Uh, I could just give up middle and do this. Only way I lose is if they play a Cosmo mid. Right? But this is going to add 4 here, putting me to 17. He can get to 15. Uh, if he has Miss Marvel, I lose. Miss Marvel and Cosmo, do we think they have either of those? They retreated, so actually I win. Disregard those questions. I was gonna win anyway. Reckon. Purveyor of fine shellackings. Olympia, draw two cards. All right, got a pretty decent hand here. Hopefully we top deck uh, Black Panther for Nakia. Or Sebastian Shaw, she helps him too. Oh, I like Invisible Woman. Uh, I think I'm going to go Jeff, though. Hmm. I like in these uh, Crackles. Mer Island is good. Oh, man. He probably has Shang-Chi, though. Hmm. Why is he snapping? I don't know. We're going to put Sebastian there. That's just too good for Sebastian. I might tempo out Killmonger next turn. Before he can play Kyera or something. 
Brood's always good. I think Nakia on the Brood is probably best, though. And then we can... Invisible Woman, Brood, next turn. Armored the wrong place, dude. Oh, a Tuma. Okay. I think this is fine. Um, next turn can be... Killmonger behind the Invisible Woman. Dang, I kind of want the Invisible room Woman to have more room, though. Red Skull, okay. Hmm. And now we draw the Black Panther. This is the best I can think of doing. I don't want to snap back on him. I could do the math, but I don't even know if we win here. Let me see. This is six. This is going to be... Okay, five, so 11. Ooh, okay. I think we win? Yeah. Not even close. Casserole. <laughs> Casserole. That was good. Dang, that was a lot of power. 30 and 28. So yeah, there you go, guys. Surfer couples. It's a pretty solid list with three of the couples in it. I really enjoy it. I think it synergizes pretty well. Even the couples that don't like go together synergize pretty well. Uh, it's pretty solid all around. And it covers a lot of bases. Uh, the Nova felt kind of okay. I think maybe a different one drop or another two drop might be helpful. Uh, the Killmonger is the only reason I included the Nova, but Killmonger is mostly there to get rid of any other one drops that the opponent plays behind the Invisible Woman, not really for the Nova. So play around with it. Let me know what you guys uh, think of it, what you guys end up doing with it. And let me know what your favorite power couples are. What decks are you guys brewing? I'm excited to see all the different combinations that the community can think of. But yeah, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, dislike it, but I prefer you didn't. And if you're going to subscribe to somebody, why not Tony? And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.